1160, also 101.1 FM. Indiana in the Morning brought to you by First Commonwealth Bank. We have uh, several representatives from the Homer Center School District with us here this morning. So I'm just going to have you folks step up to the microphone, introduce yourself, and let us know what you do at Homer Center Schools. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Kristen Kirchie, and I'm a school counselor at Homer Center for grades 7 through 12. Okay. I am Kirk Kurjosek. I'm the school counselor at Homer Center, uh, grades K to 12. You can stay over there if you like. That's fine. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Lieb. I'm the school counselor for grades K through 6 at the elementary school. Okay. Now, what brings you to Indiana in the morning, this morning? Well, our principal let us know that we could advertise an upcoming event. On Thursday night, we are going to be holding our annual financial aid night, which begins at 6 p.m. in the high school auditorium. And we are inviting all of our junior and senior students and their parent or guardian to attend that event. There is a lady by the name of Julie Fontana, and she works for FIA, and she is there with lots of good information about getting money for college. So let's give a shout out to your principal. Who is? Jody Rainey. Shout out to Jody. <laughs> okay, Kurt, you want to add something to this? Um, just that, you know, it's good for the kids to come in. They can learn a little bit. Um, the financial aid process can be very confusing for kids, especially mm -hmm. if it's new. Um, so it, it's helpful to the kids to come in and just to get an understanding. And being that the parents can come in, too, that's that's also helpful. So you're talking about financial aid for college or maybe a tech school or something like that, right? Correct. Okay. And, of course, your office has all the information. We do. Mm -hmm. This event is really detailed because Julie is employed by the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency, which is a governing agency that helps divvy out all of the grant and different funds for school. So Julie is an expert on the topic and she's a great resource. She will talk specifically to students and parents about completing the FAFSA form. Right. Um, seniors can begin completing that form online come October 1st, but we do invite again the juniors and their parents as well because the more you hear the information, the more comfortable you become with it and it's an easier process. And for a lot of times, this is something that's completely new for parents if yes. this is their first child is getting ready to go to college, right? Correct. So Correct. There's, there's a lot of things that uh, they want to know the answers to and uh, a lot of shortcuts that you folks can lead them to as well. Absolutely. And then following Julie Fontana's presentation, the three of us will actually be presenting to any 10th, 11th, or 12th grade student and their parent or guardian. Uh, we call it post-secondary night. It's kind of a tutorial on life after high school. Mm -hmm. We talk about a wide variety of topics there, including the SAT tests, PSAT tests, NCAA eligibility for those um, student athletes. We talk about scholarships and a big topic that we're going to be covering is earning college credit while in high school, mm -hmm. which we were just talking in the car on the way over here and that wasn't available when we were in school, but it is a way for students to save a lot of money before ever stepping onto a college campus. And it also helps them get through school quicker. Correct. Right? Correct. If they take some of these courses ahead of time while they're still in high school, maybe they can uh, get out five or six months ahead of time. Yes, correct. Now, again, the financial night at Homer Center, what are the dates and times? Um, September 20th, which okay. is Thursday. Financial aid night will run from 6 to about 7.15. And then immediately following that, post-secondary night will run from roughly 7.30 till about 9. And this will all be held in the high school? High school auditorium. Auditorium. Uh, do folks need to call ahead to make a reservation? They do not. They okay. just need to simply show up. And actually, we open it up to anyone in the county. Mm -hmm. We have a good relationship with the Indiana County Counselors Association. We meet frequently together as a group. And there are some other lo local high schools that puts on events that are similar to this. And we just invite... Mm -hmm. People, so if they can't go to Penn's Manor's night, they mm -hmm. can come to our night and vice versa. Okay. Jennifer, we haven't heard from you. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is actually going to be part of um, our career plan as a district. We're required to have what's called a Chapter 339 plan 
so that we can get all of our students college or career ready so that they need to know what they're going to do after high school so as young as in elementary school we do start off asking kids to think about themselves what are they interested in what are their talents we don't expect a kindergartner or first grader to know what they want to be when they grow up, but we do start to lay the groundwork early so that kids can be more prepared and to know, make the connection that what they're doing in school matters. Mm -hmm. It's going to matter to their future and what they do. Do you still, for the elementary school, still bring in folks from various possession, uh, pos uh, professions to talk with the kids about what exactly it is that they do? You know, like the share day you know yeah that's something that we were all talking about we're actually a new team of three at homer center so we're starting to build our program right away we want to be a strong team of counselors and we're looking at how we can make everything coordinated so i come from forest hills elementary school in johnstown yeah. pennsylvania kurt has experience at numerous schools also and with kristen's experience we're all going to bring our knowledge together to try to create a really strong program for our students. Mm -hmm. Are field trips still a part of the educational program? They are. The face of field trips has changed a little bit in recent years, but now more than ever, we are seeing different grants pop up for students to take career-based field trips. Mm -hmm. So for example, in early October, we're going to be taking a group of students over to um, and the National Defense Manufacturing Corporation in Blairsville. Right. And there are several opportunities that have already come up this year that are similar to that. Okay. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a busy time. Again, that financial aid gathering will be at Homer Center High School uh, this coming Thursday, 6 until 7.45, did you say, or 7.15? 7.15, yep. Okay. And then after that, there's the... Post-secondary night. Post-secondary, okay. Correct. Okay, we thank you for, for stopping by. Thank Next. you for having us. Can I give one yes. more shout out? Our secretary, Erin Collins, <laughs> keeps the ship afloat, mm -hmm. and we wanted to recognize her. Okay, and the next time uh, Mr. Rainey suggests you come and say hello on the radio, you bring him with you. All right, we will. <laughs> we will. We will. Okay, all right. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. We are the voice of Indiana County, WCCSA 1160, 101.1 FM.